You know, back to the safety profile, because it's going to obviously be something, a uh, key focus. Um, Business Insider, take it for what you want, but I saw this over the weekend. They did a test between Waymo and, and Tesla, um, and they weren't critical uh, Business at all. Business Insider is not a real publication. No, but, but, but it, it did seem, they're, they're a fake. regardless they're of whether fake. we want to have a debate about their journalistic integrity, which I don't, I, I, the, the test I itself, mean, let me just share it with yeah. you and get your reaction, which was... Um, the Waymo, ultimately, they said, proved better in part only because it avoided, with its geofencing, one very difficult intersection that the Tesla chose to go through. It stopped at a red light, but then it went through the red light. What's your reaction? Look, I'm not going to comment on some uh, business insider article. But is that a concern at all? Because in a way, there's no geofencing, so it's like no, it's do. happy to go on the highways in a way that perhaps a Waymo is not. I guess my question is, is that a concern at all for you in terms of it encountering things that are still sort of a crucial test and perhaps it fails? No, first of all, that, was a, that, that actually should have been a test of supervised self-driving, a supervised self-driving, uh, not unsupervised self-driving. So the assumption there is that you have a person who is uh, going to take over. Right. So their, their test made no sense. Okay. Um, for... Uh, but when we deploy the cars in, in, in Austin, uh, we are actually going to deploy it not to the entire Austin region, but only to uh, the parts of Austin that we consider to be uh, the safest. So we will geofence it. You will? Yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. Um, so uh, it, it's, it's not going to take uh, intersections unless we are highly confident it'll, it's going to do well with that intersection. It'll just, it'll just take a route around that intersection. Right.